Yeah, yeah, well, I don't know about you, Alf, but I'm looking forward to my lunch. I love my Sunday lunch. Best lunch of the week, that is. Roast beef, Yorkshire pudding, roast <laughs> potatoes. Got fresh garden peas this week. And a nice bit of sirloin on the bone with streaks of fat running right through it. <laughs> oh, that's going to roast well, that is. How'd you go on about Sunday lunch these days, Alf? Don't get none, do I? Oh. Well, that's hard, that is. That must be one of the things you miss her for most, isn't it? She was a good cook, Alf. Yeah, it brings it home to you, doesn't it? I mean, what they meant to you and what a sad, sad loss you suffered. Oh, I'm suffering, Alf. I'm suffering. Mm. I mean, we was close, you know. Yeah. I mean, I, I knew I'd miss her, but... Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think a bit is bad. No, no. I, I wouldn't like to dwell on what I do without mine. Good cook. Born to cook. Born to the kitchen, she was. Here. Why don't you come and have Sunday lunch with us, Alf? Oh, thanks. I like that, Alpha. Right, that's done. I'll fix that one week. <laughs> <laughs> smell that. Smell it. Go on, smell it. Cool, you talk about nostalgia. That's the smell that reminds me of London on a Sunday. Miles and miles of roast beef and Yorkshire pudding cooking. <laughs> I've got to go. <laughs> Mr. Garnet, it's just a bit of lunch I've brought over. <laughs> oh, blind. Roast beef and Yorkshire pudding. Yes. Spotty thick and custard. <laughs> Thank you. It's for Mrs. Hollingberry. <laughs> Is that my dinner? Oh. Roast beef and Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> Saves you cooking, doesn't it? Oh, I'm very grateful. Well, what are neighbours for if they can't give a helping hand? That's what I always say. Now, go and eat it while it's hot and look after yourself. And if you want anything, you know where I am. Oh, what a nice woman. She goes to my church. Oh, that does smell good. Well, mustn't let it get cold. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. They've had it. All of them. Bloody marigold, Rita, that thing upstairs. They've had it. They can't do nothing for me. I won't do nothing for them. That's it. That's the end of it, as far as I'm concerned. I'll do my own cooking from now on. And I'll open my window when I do the cooking and let them smell it. <laughs> and I hope they're hungry when they smell it. It'll be my turn to laugh then, won't it? <laughs>